after a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Miami. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically. Because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. Tucker with the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. Now a hit and a loose football. Now we'll see what the Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. Now this game it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Yeah, and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. He'll take it up the gut. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here's third and six. Carr. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they're set up in a golden position here right around the 10-yard line. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, it pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they're talking about creating turnovers. That's all they preach, all game long, all practice long, every meeting get the football that's what they want so not quite a first and goal it's first and 10 from the 10 Barkley inside handoff and he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown Saquon Barkley a 10 yard touchdown run and the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots and going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Tucker able to connect on the extra point and it's now 14 to nothing. A nice tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position. And only one play to score it. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. But right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. That's what they've done all game long. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And it is now 21 to nothing. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. 
And he returns this to the 22. The Seahawks offense and Derek Carr ready for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. The fog was well into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. They say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Carr going to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Hopkins. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Carr. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Jason Taylor getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to the run frustration, don't you think? Yeah, bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Flush to his right. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Pretty nice gain on the scramble. Gets him 12 yards. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Carr. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams, there to bring him down. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I think you're exactly right. they got to find some answers quickly. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Yeah, Sanders now to return. Sheds off the tackle. Touchdown. All told, it's a punt return of 74 yards. And the Dolphins get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Well, what a game for him. He hits for the return cycle, so to speak. He had the kick return. Now the harder part, just got the punt return for a touchdown. And I would imagine that the special teams coach, as the ball left the punter's foot, he was thinking, should have kicked away from him. Yeah. Should have kicked away from him. He's in a groove, and sometimes you hit those grooves or those zones in a game, and he's in one now. He's in perfect sync with his teammates blocking, and he knows how to find the end zone. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. And he's going to be stopped cold. Good coverage there by the kick team to bring that return to an abrupt halt. Now the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. And this group has suffered far too many self-inflicted wounds thus far as we run through some of the mistakes. It, it's darn near impossible to win in this league when you're turning the ball over at the frequency that they have. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, 
After we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Three quarters in the books. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Carr. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. It's complete to Hopkins. It's going to be a nice pickup, but he also takes a pretty good lick at the end of that one. The Seahawks on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Car to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. To throw, it's Carr. Pollard here once again. And the ball is knocked out, but fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Here's Carr to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hopkins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now Carr. That's dumped up. And he loses the football a second time. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example, do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through. And that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. The Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Looks like he'll throw here. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. It'll go as a gain of four. And that'll bring up second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. On play action. Now McCarthy steps away. Gets this one to use check. And bulldozing his way through. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at the 45. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. There's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously, here in the fourth quarter. They could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because... Who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. 
Tucker now to add the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. And they're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while. But everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. Card out of throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it, they were already within a shadow of the goalposts. And yeah, you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you get a run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Throwing now is Carr. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I'll tell you one part there, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soaking hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. Now Sanders. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 35 yards on the return. Picked up some good blocks as well. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. McCarthy off the play fake. Now he's got it. And out of bounds all the way down.